Greetings my loyal minions and welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns please feel free to leave a comment under any of my videos or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. If you want to donate to my channel I do have a cash app, PayPal, and Venmo. Links are in the description below. You also have the choice of super chatting me whenever I'm live or you can leave a super thanks under any of my videos or live streams. Just keep in mind you are under no obligation to donate to my channel, but any bit would be most appreciated. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to. So, grab onto your neck braces and make sure they are firmly in place, grab a stiff drink, some popcorn, take a seat and hang onto your butts because we are going to be in for some more major whiplash. Hey, what up you guys? It is Sassy Assassin here back with another video. I hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. And in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to two community tab posts. So without further ado, folks, let's get to. So the first one says, Ugh. So I tried once again to do a reaction, but most of the ones I try and listen to either sound like the Wicked Witch of the East and West, or March Simpson's long lost sisters, not to mention the sheer stupidity and the lost brain cells. Ugh. I can't do it. Laugh out loud. I don't know how m so many can listen to that for two or more hours. Insane. I'll just focus on myself like everyone suggested and leave them to stay obsessed about me, meanwhile not even acknowledging they exist. In the end, it's hardly a flex, since most of them are too cowardly to cam up whilst talking smack on others. Couldn't be me. Anyway, the bright side is, any attention is good attention. New motto for this year. See you soon in a new video, coming later today. Miss Yabizers. What is, is your obsession with camming up, Chantel? Whether we cam up or not, it doesn't invalidate our opinions about you. Are you so insecure about your looks that you need to see us in order to validate how you feel about yourself? Well, if, if, if I look better than them, that, that means I'm better than them, right? You said one, recently, oh, looks don't matter, you know. But really, they do to you. Looks matter so much to you that that's how you determine someone's self-worth. That's a very shallow way of thinking, Chantel. Like, cannot relate in any way. Um... I think the only reaction channel that she's actually watching is FFG. And that's who Chantel is referring to. I think that's the only one she'll be willing to react to. Since FFG, like, literally lives rent-free in her head. And I actually think she has a bit of a crush on her or something. Like, she is legit obsessed with FFG. But, like, I'm not surprised. Since, like, FFG has literally gotten in her head and it is consistently right about Chantel. And also considering the fact that um, she's met FFG and FFG actually rescued, I'll bet very covertly, rescued her cat. And that cat is now living its best life with FFG's sister-in-law. Something that Chantel can't stand because, um, the you know, ba basically her neglect and animal abuse came out when, um, the cat was taken to the vet. We just recently saw Chantel try to rehash a year old drama about FFG, about the BBJ, and was threatening, you know, lit litigation. When we all know that, Chantel, you, you would never win the case. 
And I, that's why I think I, she's never going to take FFG to court for BBJ because she knows she won't win. There's too much evidence against Chantel that states that she is an animal abuser. And, you know, Chantel could actually face charges of her own if, if she were to actually take FFG to court for BBJ. I think she thinks in her mind that she's going to get BBJ back, by the way. It's never going to happen, Chantel. BBJ is in a better place. Living her best life. Just let BBJ live for fuck's sake. That's something that I for didn't say in the last, in my BBJ video. And I just wanted to say that here. Um, the reason why people watch reaction channels, Chantel, is because they make we make your content more entertainment, entertaining. Plus, there are channels that are able to, you know, cut down your video to a reasonable time. So it's easier to watch your video because not everybody has the time to sit and watch a, a two-hour live stream or watch a complete video, which, you know, is understanding. Like, I, I don't have the ability, I'm mean, honestly the ability to uh, cut down her videos. I wish I could. That's something that I really want to start doing is cutting down, like, Chantel and Amber's videos to, and then react to them to make them, like, shorter. But I just... I don't know. I, I guess I don't have the know-how and the right kind of software to do so. Plus, I don't even have the time to do that. Um... We make your content more bearable for a lot of people. And people would rather watch reaction channels and give them the money. Okay. Sorry. Us the money, because I'm technically a foodie beauty reaction channel now. They People would rather give us the money than give you the money. You're just mad because you're not getting the views and the money that you used to. That we're taking that away from you. When you act the way you do. And because you're so universally not liked on this pl on this YouTube platform. This is what happens. People would rather give their money to somebody that they like and respect. Than to somebody who does not give a shit about them as an audience member and you know only cares about the the views and the money that that we get that we give you you claim that you you know you want to get rid of us reaction channels but you you know the you know copyright striking isn't going to work so you are going to react to us right i don't know what you think that you reacting would have done you think it's it's gonna um, somehow like make us look like the bad guys here? Like, oh, if I react to them and if I sh if I call them out on their hypocrisy, then it's it, you know it's gonna make people stop watching them and then the they're gonna come over on over to me. No, like that's not gonna happen, Chantel. I can damn well guarantee you that you being a reaction channel is only going to make things worse for you. And that's, I think that's another reason why you won't do it. Is because you know that it's, your plan isn't going to work. It's going to backfire. And given the number of ego hits that you have taken recently, I don't think you can withstand another ego hit. Like, seriously. So, um, you know, another thing about you not doing reaction videos is it's honestly, you're just too lazy to put in the work. And I said this in the beginning, you really are too lazy to put in the work to be a reaction channel. You don't understand the work that it takes to be a reaction channel. I'm not saying it's like really hard work, but still, it's a lot more work than the the kind of work that you put into your videos. And I'm not even sure that you actually do all the editing and stuff for your videos. 
Maybe you're having Salah help you with that. But then again, I mean... You helped Koki at one point with his video, so maybe you do have some skill. I don't know. But, like... You just do not understand Chantel. Or just don't want to acknowledge that if it wasn't for us... You wouldn't have a channel. We're the ones that are keeping your cha your channel afloat. You should be thanking us. Giving us credit for, for keeping you afloat. This is your only income, Chantel. This is not like a side hustle for you. You literally rely on YouTube. You know what you should be doing? is actually looking for a job, an actual real job that doesn't involve YouTube, a stable income that when YouTube fails, and let me tell you, it's going to fail because at some point, not even the reaction channels are going to save you. At some point, we're all just going to get sick and tired of it. Maybe there'll still be some reaction channels out there that will react to you until you croak. But um, let me tell you, people can only take so much. Look what's happened with Amber. There's not as many... You know how, like, many reaction channels have stopped reacting to her? And how dead her channel is, basically? <laughs> Close to dead her channel is? And she's another one. She thinks that, oh, I can get rid of the reaction channels, I can strike them and do this and that. And it's like, bitch, you, you don't realize that we're the ones that are keeping you afloat. You only exist because of us. If we didn't exist, if, if, if reaction channels ceased to exist, both of you would be on your ass having to collect unemployment. Actually, I don't think you could collect unemployment for, for YouTube. I'm not sure about that. I have to look up look that up, but I think it's depending on whether you would state or country or whatever. But, like, you know, it's like um, you guys would both have to go and get a job. And neither you guys have the skill skills or the experience to go get a job that would pay well in today's economy you know how long it took me to get the job job that i'm training for now or going to be sorry going to be training for because it hasn't started yet um you know how long it took me and the income is not you know the greatest but it's at least it's something Given your 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 reputation on here, and given the fact that most employer the employees these days do check your online socials, do you think that they're going to want to hire you? I'm speaking for both Amber and Chantel. So you can sit here and be and be all smug and be like, well, and like act like you're the shit. Like, honey, you're not. You're you're you you know you're literally reliant on us reaction channels to stay afloat. Don't bite the hand that fucking feeds you, Chantel. And the same goes for Amber. Just don't. Because one day, this could all go away. And do you think your mommy is going to want to, you know, basically payroll you? No. She's going to say, bitch, go get a job. And you're too fat to go get a job, Chantel, to actually do manual labor. And I'm going to say the same thing about, about me. I can't do manual labor, but... You know what? With perseverance and just not giving up, I, I found a job. Is it exactly what I want? No. But it's better than nothing. And thankfully, I have a good enough reputation on online where I'm not a, a worried whether... An employer is going to see my YouTube channel or, or my my social media and be like, Oh, God, I don't think I'm, I'm going to want to hire this person. Actually, it's because of my social media that I got the job that I, that I have now. I'm not going to talk say more about it, but, like, because of my, my ch you know, my, yeah, pretty much my social, my YouTube and stuff like that is because, like, how I got my job. Because that was mentioned during the interview. So, I don't think the same could be said of you, Chantel. Or Amber. I don't think they would uh, credit you for your channel. Given the fact that you're not a very well-liked person on here. 
and you know they're gonna look at that and be like oh yikes like i don't know if we want to hire this person so it's like you're it's like you're walking on thin ice and you don't even care that's that's the that's just the, the sad reality of the situation these two bitches are literally walking on thin ice knowing it could break at any moment and they just don't give a shit like thank god that is not me because I promised myself, you know, I'm not going to have YouTube be, like, a job. It's going to be a side hustle. I'm not going to have Twitch be a job. It's going to be a side hustle. Because I don't want to be reliant on something that is, one, not a stable income. And two, something that could, I mean, I could get canceled or something. You know what I mean? And lose all my viewers over anything. And I don't, I don't want I don't want that to be a, you know I don't want it to like, to to live, so, precariously like that. You know what I mean. So. Yeah, I mean. It, it but that's just the reality of the of your situation, Chantel. So you coming on on here and, you know, acting like we're, you know we're just all dumb brain dead idiots is just ridiculous to me given the fact that we're the ones that are keeping you afloat and the other reason why that she doesn't want doesn't want to do rea reactions to us is because she thinks that we just you know comment about her weight and how stupid she is or whatever you know that we don't have anything legit to say anything of substance but the reality is, is that we do. We add way more to the videos than she's able to put in her own videos. We add context to your ridiculousness. And see, if you were to be a reaction channel reacting to us, then you would have to acknowledge what we're saying. And you can't do that, can you? Because that would mean you would have to basically own up to your shit. And you don't want to do that, do you? You're scared to do that. You're scared to face reality, which is why you're with this fake husband that you this that you basically know you shouldn't be around. You 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 even lying about how you're in Kuwait in the first place. Okay. You can't even cam up properly in my humble opinion and what i mean by that is you have tons of filters on tons of makeup on not that i'm saying that wearing makeup is a bad thing also you have fucking chin spanks to cover the rest of your chins You talk about, why don't you cam up and show us what you look like? Why don't you take off your filters and take off the makeup and chin spanks, Chantel? Show us what you really look like. You think you look better than any, than 90% of YouTube, honey? You don't. Let me tell you. You ain't pretty. Not even close. And I'm not saying that I look like a Cindy, a Cindy Crawford or Bella Hadid. At least I know what I look like. You know what I mean? I know, I and I'm I'm at peace with what with how I look. You know, I'm not, and, and I'm working on improving my health. And I, you know, because I know that in any case, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? And I'm more about personality than I am about am about looks. Can you, but the same couldn't be said of you, Chantel. The thing is, you think that you look pretty, but you have a sh but you don't, and you also have a shitty personality. You have literally nothing going for you, Chantel. That's the reality. And see, we point that out consistently, and you can't stand it. So, for you know. Reacting to us would mean you would have to, you know, have a comeback to that. And you just don't have one. 
Because that would mean you'd have to fess up and be like, yeah, I really don't have a lot going for me. You literally, I mean, you live, you live the saddest life, Chantel. The saddest life I've ever seen. You and Amber, both. Like, it just, it, I, I mean, I thought my life was sad. But I'm thinking, you know what, hell, I've got a, I've got it pretty good compared to you two. The only arguably, arguably good thing you have going for you is YouTube, but that, not even for both of you, but not even that is, is good, you know, because it's, it's not doing you any good. The only thing you have that is actually positive is the income. That's it. That's all you have. You have a, you're living with a fake, a husband that, a fake husband that does not care about you, that cheated on you the first chance that he got but that you went crawling back to him anyways because you literally have no self-respect no morals no no uh self-love couldn't be me i'm gonna tell you that so whatever chantel just whatever about you're just on it but honestly Honestly, you're too much of a coward to react to us. That's just what, what it all boils down to. And you know that. So, let's move on to the next commute tap post, and it's a short one. Hi, guys. I want to do a Q&A question and answers video, so please leave your questions below. Thanks for participating. We all know you're not going to follow through with this video because um, didn't you want to try to do this this kind of idea in when you were guys, you and Sala were in Thailand and uh, you never followed through with the video? So what's the point of even putting the posting this when you're not going to follow through? And in any case, any real like relevant questions that the audience actually has, you're not going to answer because... It's all going to be things that you don't want to talk about, like where Sala is, um, why you gained 13 pounds in a week, uh, why has half of your face swollen, um, I mean, those are the three, the, the three ones that I can think of right there. Um, there's so many other questions that, I mean, one could ask. Like, is Sal, you know, is Salah ever going to come back to the internet? You're not going to answer these questions. And her, her response, you know, her, her, uh, current, um, like response to whether Salah is going to come back is obvious is no, because she wants to keep the relationship private. The channel is only going to be about her. So Salah's basically pussing out. He probably can't even come onto his own chain, own platform now. So pretty much you he well I'm a, let's just say this he ruined his own his chance of coming back to his own channel and doing gaming content cuz wasn't he making gaming content before he even met you he was actually had an income on YouTube that, probably not that much of an income but still it's like he had something going on YouTube and now he can't even do that because of all this shit with with Poopgate and everything so it's like, he's screwed on that front, but see, he did that to himself, as far as I'm concerned. So it's like, who cares? Because he was stealing, he was stealing gaming content anyways. Oh, can you answer that for me as well, Chantel? Can you ask Sala, um, why, uh, your fake husband was stealing gaming content? From other co creators and not even crediting, crediting them with the, with the actual content? Oh, no, you can't answer that, can you? Because, you know, your husband, your fake husband's not even there, is he? So, there's some, there's a lot of questions that I could ask. But, mainly, I just don't see the point. You're only going to answer generic questions that really nobody fucking cares about. Okay? And it's like... If you're if you want to do Q and A, 
at least answer questions that people want to know about, really want to know about, and learn to take the heat. You can't take the heat, Chantel. Don't even bother coming near the freaking frying pan, for fuck's sake. I mean, what's there to say? You're a, you're a coward. You are a coward. Just because you cam up doesn't make you, like, a hero or anything. You are, without a shadow of doubt, a coward. Because you know what? Let me just say this. And I'm going to go back to the fatty fashion show. And this is something that wasn't, in my opinion, mentioned enough. But was so glaringly obvious. You had a chance to confront FFG at the fatty fashion show. All right? She was there. In person. You had ample opportunity to confront her. And what did you do? You sucked up to her. Oh, it's just business, you said. And then even offered to go to, di to take her to dinner to go get poutine. What the fuck was that? Like, I asked that back then, and it's like, nobody ever really kind of, like, put two and two together. But I I I'm saying this again, because it's just like, I with all the complaining you do about FFG, you had the opportunity to confront her face to face. It, it was literally handed to you, and you didn't do anything about it. You know why? Because you're a coward, Chantel. At the end of the day, if you were face to face with any one of us and, and like, not like face to face computer, or even, I'm going to say, even if you were face, no, you know what? Even if you were, if one were to do, like, let's say, a, like a, a face to face, like, interview or something with, with any of us reaction channels, and even, even on, like, a computer, you'd still be too much of a fucking coward. To say what you really want to say. So. For all your posturing. Chantel. You're just. Behind all of that. You are a coward. Because if it was me. And if I had the opportunity. To face some. Like my bully. Okay. You. Maybe not back then when I was a kid. I was too much of a coward, I admit that. But if, if I were to be able to face a bully today, somebody that was bullying me, you bet your freaking ass that I would have something to say. I wouldn't hold back. I would let them have it. And thank God for the, the, uh, the chance to do it. So, are you really any better than, than us, Chantel? No. So, stop your posturing, Chantel, because we all know the real reason why you're not going to do reactions, and we all know you're not going to do a QA. and a I'd be very, an actual real q and A. I'd be really surprised if she actually does a legit Q&A answering the questions that we all want to know. And by the way, a majority of the audience that actually supports you, I, you know, I, I've watched some of your live streams recently. Like, just some of it. And a lot of the people that claim to support you are asking these questions that you they know is going to set you off. So are they really supporting you, Chantel, or are they trolls? Because in my humble opinion, they're trolls. Because anybody that really supported you, supported you and cared about what you really, you know, cared about you would not be asking you those questions. So, and then I noticed a lot of these generic comments under your videos. You have sock accounts leaving comments making it look like you have more support than you actually have. And recently she was posturing about her, how much support she has, you know, trying to make herself, you know, feel better 
like, honey, you don't have the kind of support that you think you do because half of the half of those generic supporting comments are just you under sock accounts. You have very little support, Chantel. Hell, I'm gonna say this. I think I I think I have more support on my channel, given I have way less like subscribers and stuff like that, but actual real support than you do. And that's that's saying a lot. So, and I'm not trying to make myself out to be something big, bigger than I'm not. I'm I'm really small. I'm like a a blip on this platform. But it's like you know I've been reading some of these comments. I'm like, these have got to be sock accounts. Because you can kind of tell what is real and what's like what's a real comment and what's not. So I'm just like. My God, you even have to resort to to leaving fake comments under your videos for how long now? Because you lack the actual support. Are you um, buying views? Are you buying subscribers? Cause that's what the, I think what she's doing that. I think she's actually buying views. I did some research on that, by the way, because I, I I wasn't really sure, like, how, like, how does one even go about that? I'm thinking, and but to buy a view, is, is, there's some places that are not even that expensive. I'm thinking to myself, she must be buying some views, because I saw some places that were actually really cheap, and I'm just like, okay, well, I still wouldn't do it, but, like, okay, it would make sense that, that she would buy, buy the views. The whole company is dedicated to, to this stuff. I'm just like, wow. And this actually goes against terms of service, but there's whole companies dedicated to offering services to people to break terms of service. It's like, okay. Um, no thanks. Um, but anyways, um, that's all I pretty much have to say um, for now. We will see what uh, happens next. And... I'm now all caught up on Chantopolis, so until next time, toodaloo, my loves.